This is uh, Monday, it's the 5th of February and it's just after 10 o'clock and here we have the Commitment of Traders report for the Australian dollar. Uh, we did have a really bearish position uh, for the Australian dollar. Um, it's actually come off the highs and uh, we've turned around a little bit and um, we have actually, the price of the Australian dollar has gone up and we have actually um, gone more bearish on the commitment of traders. It is looking very tired where it is. Uh, we've uh, had a nice fall back down. Uh, we've come through the 50 uh, on the RSI. So we'll just have a quick look at the chart. Uh, it's come back up this morning. Uh, this is a daily chart uh, onto um, the resistance, uh, which seems to be holding at the moment. I think we might just pop back up through this before we, we fall back down, but, but, but we are actually below the 50 on the RSI, which is what I did want, and I wanted to sell through the 50. Um, the reason I've said this is because I've had so much trouble with this over the last a few weeks, uh, and uh, since it went through the 50 upwards, basically it hasn't turned back around. So and normally I'll put a trend line up and call it short here, and it didn't, it came back a bit. You could have got a stop behind it, but it didn't, it came back, it bounced back up. You could have called it short just here, and really it didn't. Uh, same thing across here, I've been having trouble with it. So basically I'd like to sell this back down through the 50. We've come down, it's sort of gone a little bit flat and it is actually slightly above the 50 at the moment. Uh, but we'll see if it can break this resistance. Uh, if not, I think it's heading uh, basically back down. And then we'll go on to the pound. British pound, uh, commitment to traders report again. Uh, and this is looks like a fairly bearish position that we've got here. So if I turn it basically to a five year chart and you can see this is basically as bearish as, as they've been for the last four years. Uh, so uh, this has gone up rather steeply uh, the last few months. So I'm, I'm expecting this to top out. It's coming into quite a lot of resistance where we are. I'm expecting it to top out and to turn back down. We have got a fairly extreme uh, three year, four year uh, bearish position by the commitment of traders. And if we just have a look at the daily chart for the uh, pound, and you can see basically if I put it, maybe, you can see how steeply this has climbed. And uh, we had a nice candle down the other day. And uh, I think this is going to, um, I think this is going to turn back down. I, uh, I really, again, uh, normally I would have said uh, take a short position here, um, but I'm being extra cautious at the moment, and I'm saying wait for it to come below the 50, um, especially on the euro, uh, euro dollar. I've had a lot of trouble with that. It hasn't been performing, so uh, I'm being extra cautious by saying wait till it comes below the 50. Uh, all right, now, where do we go? Uh, Canadian dollar. Uh, again, we have a fairly bearish position taken uh, by the commitment of traders for the Canadian dollar. Um, this, I, I think uh, we have made a lower high up here. So if you look at the bearish position that we had here and even, there um, we've got a fairly bearish position where we are at the moment and we are seeing weakness uh, the oil price seems to be flattening out a little bit we have an extreme short position on the commitment to traders for the oil <clears throat> and i'm expecting the canadian dollar to move down from here so if we're just going to have a quick look at uh, the chart uh, canadian dollar it, it did make a low back down here I'm waiting again, we've got this flat, I'm waiting for a break above the 50, and then I'm gonna call this pair uh, long. Uh, so it's the US dollar, Canadian dollar. Uh, so I'm uh, looking for a long position on this pair. And uh, we'll go back to the commitment of traders and we'll look at the Euro. On the Euro, uh, we have a bearish position. Uh, this is, uh, 
at least a five year bearish position. If you look at the position taken by the commitments of traders, uh, I am expecting to see a lot more downside from here. And, uh, you, you know, on the way down, I think there's about 1,700 pip, 1,700 pips to come back down to this gap up um, in, in the market. So we'll see where that goes to. But um, that, that's what I'm looking for. Let's have a look at the chart. Euro dollar. If you go back onto the weekly chart and you look where the gap up was, this gapped up back here. And this is just where the RSI moved above the 50. So uh, we're quite flat at the moment. Uh, and I'm looking for a turn back down. Uh, I have got a small trading up here. But... Um, you know, I would like to add to this as it turns back down. There is a big drop here. This is a weekly chart, put it on the daily, um, you know, and, uh, you know, th th there's a lot further to go with this pair. So that's, uh, there you go, uh, Japanese yen. We're going to see a lot more strength through for the yen. Um, we have got a, a bullish position by the commitment to trade is where it is. Uh, we've come off the highs. We've seen quite a lot of strength. Um, there was a quite a move uh, down last week. We had a nice big candle on the S&P 500. So um, I am expecting more strength for the Japanese yen. Right, so here we have the USD Japanese yen, a weekly chart. <clears throat> now you can see a uh, few weeks back we fell below the 50 on the rsi that would have been somewhere about here and since then we've had quite a nice fall off uh we actually bounced off this uh, support here and i believe now we're going to uh, come back down uh over the next few weeks uh we're still holding below the 50 on the rsi so i'll, I'll just put it back onto a daily chart we've had this little bit of a bounce um off support here and i think now we've come up we've hit the 20 day moving out average the bollinger band and i think basically now we're going to move back down and more strength for the japanese yen next uh next up we've got the swiss franc swiss franc we still we're still um uh fairly bullish uh of the swiss franc um it has moved up rather nicely and uh, as it moves up, basically, we lose the bullish position on the commitment of traders. But uh, I'm expecting this to move even lower and I'm expecting to see even more strength in the Swiss franc. So uh, we'll just have a quick look at the chart, uh, USD, Swiss franc. And we're having a little bit of a pause at the moment. We've come down nicely uh, over the last um, few weeks. So uh, we'll we'll see how much further this has got to go. It is actually below the 30.9. Now, as long as it holds below that, basically we're going to see a more weakness on this pair. So uh, that's where we're looking at the moment on that. Uh, next one, uh, the USD index. Uh, as you can see, we have actually moved above the zero line. That will give us a, a slightly bullish position. But when you compare it comparatively over the last uh, five years, uh, you know, this was a bullish position uh, from about four years ago. And we saw this big move up in the dollar. Um, we had a fairly bullish position here. And we again, we've seen a big move up in the dollar. And now we are slightly above the zero line again. And we are expecting a big move up. Uh, we saw a good payroll figure, figure on uh, Friday. So um, we'll see where that goes to. Mexican peso. Uh, the, um, the commitment of traders are again very bearish for the Mexican peso. Um, I, uh, I have had a trade on this. I got out about at the bottom here somewhere. Um, sorry, I got out uh, when it... it it had gained more strength. So I, I did get out at the right place. Um, whoops, the daisies. So um, I am expecting uh, to see a more weakness on the Mexican peso, more strength on the USD Mexican peso. 
So um, I, I might be looking to put another trade back in on this. Uh, New Zealand dollar. We've seen uh, such a lot of strength uh, on this. Um, in fact, uh, we have now moved below the line. And so we are bearish for the pair. Um, and I'm just waiting on this for a move below the 50 on the RSI. So if we look at the New Zealand dollar, we came down nicely with the strength on the dollar Friday uh, from the payroll figures. Um, and uh, I really want to see this move below the 50 on the RSI uh, before I get a trade in. Uh, we've had a little bounce back up today. We'll see where that goes to. But, um, you know, uh, I'm not too keen on getting in at the moment. Uh, silver. Uh, let's just get the metals up. Ah, I'm going to tick before we do that. Energies. Crude oil. Crude oil, again, we have a, a further uh, increase of the bearish position for crude by the commitment of traders. So, um, you know, I, I put it on a five year chart, get comparatives from the past. You can see where we are with the bearish position. And, um, you know, it, the more stupid the price goes, uh, the more the commercials just sit there with their uh, bearish position and they add to it. Uh, metals, yep, here we go, silver. Silver, we still have a fairly bearish position on silver. We had a nice drop down in price uh, last week because of the rise in the price of the dollar. The value of the dollar, uh, obviously silver gets hit, uh, as did palladium. We'll just have a quick look at palladium. Uh, we still have a, um, I, I, I did get out of this trade. I am expecting a little bit more of a bounce back up. Uh, but obviously we got hit by the um, the, the rise in the value of uh, the dollar on Friday. Uh, we'll, we'll just have a quick look at those. Uh, this is silver. As you see, it's come back. Uh, the price has a little bit. Um, we are below the 50. I think we might come up and hit it and then bounce back down. So um, we'll see where that goes. But uh, the, the Friday's candle, this nice long candle down, uh, that is more strength in the dollar rather than weakness in silver. So um, nothing to get too um, worried about. Uh, so we'll, we'll see where that goes. OK, well, that's the end of part one for today. Have a quick look at the DXY. Uh, you can see the strength in the dollar there on Friday. Uh, so we'll, we'll see if this can continue up. We've actually uh, raised our heads uh, above the 30.9 um, on on the um, RSI. So we'll see if we can continue up with this. Um, it should be nice to see a, a little bit more strength coming through for the dollar. Okay, well, that's end of part one for today. Cheers now. Bye.